Hello, my delicious friends. In this time, I will talk about the Traffic Manager President Edition, which is one of the mods I really, really love in Cities Skylines. It's so handy. The problem I have for Cities Skylines is um, every crossing is usually one with traffic lights, like this one. And that is really stupid. It um, is not what I want from this game, and that's um, where this mod helps a lot. Uh, I will jump in and um, <clears throat> knock off most of this stuff really quickly and then go to, into detail um, about the um, time traffic light, which is one of the most awesome features as well as the lane connector, which makes um, traffic just flow more realistically and a lot better as well. Um, so let's start with the parking restrictions. I can just um, tell people not to park somewhere. Uh, do, where do I actually do this? I have to select a frigging road. Here we go, like this. I can tell them, uh, do not park here. Um, that has little to no effect, actually, uh, for the traffic flowing. I can just um, disable it here. I cannot do it here, actually. I think I can do it here these roads because they have little um, parking slots here we can turn this off <coughs> not important then uh, I we have this one of a button vehicle restrictions and I use this as example for my bus lanes I have here uh, this by the way a little bit of money and stuff because I enjoy the game like this much more I'm not going for achievements or anything I have here my bus uh, depot and I have here um, the bus terminal thing and this road here it's just um, for buses, taxi, um, <coughs> recycling and garbage stuff, and a police and ambulances and stuff like that. And I can restrict that however I want. I can tell uh, specific roads um, to not serve um, passenger cars or heavy vehicles like uh, trucks and stuff. So I could have um, next to my um, industrial zone I have up here, I can tell. Uh, like this road here, yeah, no um, trucks allowed. On, as I can do it for special lanes as well, which is pretty awesome. I haven't done that yet. I usually just do that kind of this stuff. You can restrict the lanes as well, which is really awesome. And then apply it with this button here um, between two sections, which is really awesome. Uh, speed limit. I rarely play around with these. <laughs> this is a very German sign here, by the way. It's like unlimited on the autobahn. Fuck it. You can go however fast you want. Good luck with that. I haven't done this in this game yet. Um, I usually do that for um, sections of the highway, which have not a lot of traffic. But otherwise, it's just, nah, whatever. Speed limit um, It's not that important to me. Um, then we have the junction restriction thing, which is really awesome in conjunction with uh, the priority signs, especially. Like here, and we have uh, four wonderful buttons. Um, I will go into this in a little second. Um, this is, you can turn around. This is um, mix on the, um, change lanes on the um, crossing, which is really helpful. And um, keep the uh, crossing clear or not. And they have priority here. This gets us to this point here, priority signs. Um, this will come at the end of the video because it's the most uh, big and important part of it. This is a priority um, street. So this have always um, preference before these two small roads because these are just feeding onto the main road here on this avenue. And I've done the same with these. And usually like here as well, this is uh, with traffic lights, it's not even done yet. Uh, I may take that as an example later on. Uh, then we got uh, priority signs, we got knocked off. We have then clear traffic, which is kind of cheaty. We can just clear every traffic and disable despawning, which is not important for me at all. Um, let's knock off these two. These is uh, switch traffic lights. Um, I have maybe somewhere um, a nice little uh, crossing with traffic lights. Nope, this has none, I think. You can put it on and put it away. Put it on, put it away. But nope, this is a priority road. Let's do it like this. Like I click once, I click twice, and the third one is automatically um, 
that one. I can also make it a stop sign if I want to. Or do this, uh, but this is not a good idea. And then your manual traffic lights. <laughs> Come on, really. I, I, I don't want to do that. I never use this, so sorry about that. Then um, let's get to the lane connector, which is an, very great in conjunction with the time traffic lights, by the way. As example, we have here wonderful big fucking highways. Uh, I've done it here, I think. I can um, put lane connectors here. So they don't feed on the same line. It keeps, um, they can then switch later. If I do this here, like um, these two lanes go in this, these two lanes get in this, these two lanes get in th that one, and these three uh, basically feed into these two. Then they will um, make a traffic jam here because they switch from this lane to down to these and from down here up there and stuff like that. So I simply do, I will um, make an example here. You only are allowed to, it's just one left click. Click, 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 click. Oops. You only are allowed to change one lane. It keeps it free. It's busy work, yes. Um, I find it incredible fun, by the way. It gets some tedious after like an hour or so, um, but I do this basically with all the junctions I have problems with. And it works really fantastic if I can find the road why I did this. This one here, I'll give you an example about that. Uh, it's actually not even the one I mean, I think. Yeah, I did the lane connector very well. You can see these two feed into this. This feed into the other four, uh, other six. It works really well. And we have a um, timed crossing here as well. <clears throat> Let's um, pick an example road. This one is not working very well. Um, so I will show it uh, with one. I have the least problems with actually. Um, ah, let's just take this one with the most problems. Uh, just an example. It ticks through. This is now green. It goes straight and right is green. And then it switches to the next. They are done, by the way. It switches to the next one. I can um, actually uh, show the counters here. Now well, they go left. And they go right, and they go right, and actually that should be left. Uh, that's a little mistake that happens. It's very complicated because this is always left, and this is right actually, and here's left. It's a bit confusing sometimes, but you turn it around to see. And that does the same um, with this big one here. I will set one up in a second for you. So this one empties out. They get green light for um, pretty much 20 seconds. Then these try to go wherever. The fucking bus is stopping everything. In this case, you can see it with the nice little um, pedestrian stuff here as well. That I did with the junction restriction thing. I said to these guys, there are no people going over here because if you have that, I will show you that. Uh, here have the same problem, by the way. <clears throat> and we want to set up a time traffic light. Set up time traffic light and add a step. We have here pedestrians. And I don't actually want to have that. The pedestrians should be restricted. I don't want them to go over the crossing. They have this wonderful thing here because I have, by the way, that mod as well. I forgot what it named. Pavement path. Yeah, it could be in the base game now. They can just um, go up and over that to um, get some load of the heavy duty crossings here. <clears throat> so I will set up um, a time traffic light. Um, basic, basically, let's do it here. Right, I click on this. First off, um, I don't know the restrictions. Yeah, the restrictions, I don't want you guys to go there. You can build this in as well to time that as well. I just just do it, you know. Whatever, let's um them in as well. The lane connectors I want to do first because it's the most important part. Uh, you go right. You go straight. You go straight here. You go straight here. You go straight there. It's a one way with a six, by the way. And you go um, here to these two. Sometimes it's very hard to click, especially if you build stuff over it like I do. 
and here and here you can have actually both of them and we put here the same with this and you can take here the road ahead and let's set up a time traffic light. We click on this. You can act actually um, put more nodes in it, which is really awesome. Uh, I don't want that though. I just want this one to show. Um, I have uh, two traffic lights set up in the northern part of the city somewhere. Uh, yeah, set it up. Uh, add a step. Here these are an auto. I don't want it on auto. I want a manual. So click everything once. And then change the mode. I want it like this. It changes everyone green and stuff like that. I could here very much put everything on green on these. It doesn't matter. And this only goes right and uh, right and straight and this goes left and straight. So the first thing I want, this um, I do not care about. Weight duration and stuff like that. You can have a minimum and maximum time. I always give um, hard coded like times like 10 seconds or whatever. Uh, five is usually not as good for pe um, pedestrians. That might be good enough. And I want to um, add, you got green, but you don't have green for these, please. And add that step. This is step one. Add another step. You have to uh, re undo that. And you can go right. Mm, they would have a problem uh, both going, uh, this going left, this going right. But he connects to there, so this is no problem. So they all get green for 10 seconds. Add that. <clears throat> Add another step. And now we get um, these guys. And th this step I would save um, if I do the restriction, no um, pedestrians here. And that be it. And then I just click on start and we let's see. For counters, they have green light. Now the other guys get green. You see that here. They are waiting for 10 seconds. And then 2, 1. The pedestrians get green and can cross. And that's it. And now they get a turn. And that's basically it. And with that, you can have really awesome. Um, it's just the basics, by the way. Um, let's just show uh, this one. These are two connected because I don't want him to stop here. That's why I give them green. For that's why I have um, the two junctions in here. This is, by the way, not working very good. But that's uh, another problem of mine. I have to work on this. But this is for me fun. Don't judge. Uh, and with this tool, you can uh, build really great and more realistic cities, actually. If you click uh, like on the lane connectors here, they can have all green, these two, because they're not sharing any uh, lanes here. Doesn't matter. I can just basically add even um, a priority sign here if I wanted to. Nope. Don't want that. They have this timed. No idea what it actually does. Ah, if there's still the pedestrians in here, I think. Yeah, because I had no space for um, my bridge stuff I did here again. And um, I usually do that like, nah, okay, that's a bit ugly, I, I admit that. Especially around um, metro stations, I want these big hunks of um, these because there's a lot of guys just going through the metro and then walk everywhere and they just blocking up the crossings even more. Get this mod. It's really awesome. If you like the game and like to fiddle with the stuff and administer um, crap like that, do it. It's so much fun. And you can have this wonderful priority roads everywhere and stuff like that. Here, this is another road I have to work on. Because this is not good. They are also having the problem that everyone is to, wants to go left. And I should um, put these both left these 
both lanes. Um, there's another button which is I uh, change lanes errors uh, where I could nope this one. Um, it's the easier way of the lane co lane connector. A lane connector is more efficient, um, not efficient. You can do more with it. This is just um, yeah. You're not going. Why is this going straight? And this is yeah. This is stupid. Let, let's do it like this. These both go left, and these go right in front. That's uh, will change a lot. And if you do the lane connectors for this entire thing here. Not with this one though, it doesn't work. You have to have the lane connectors for everyone here until wherever. Then you could save some space because the problem is they were on to go left and blocking up this entire lane for it. Stuff like that. You can fiddle a lot. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.